Hey guys, what's good? What's home? What's up, homie? I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, this is Helios, coming to you live. Not really. I'm still looking over here at the viewfinder said right at the camera. So this is just, just weird. Just bear with me, okay? So today on Comic Watch, we're going to be talking about some comics I got. Now this bunch of comics, I haven't read them yet. I've been meaning to. It's on my list of things. That's why I got them. Um, so, this bunch of comics I'm going to show are from a bunch of comics that I acquired through somebody. They gave them to me. So these are old comic, old X-Men comics. Some of many of different old Marvel and, yeah, old Marvel comics. Like, these are from, like, the 70s, 80s. They're pretty old. So... Without further ado, this is just some of the some of the collection I have. Now the rest of the old comics I have are out are out of my house as storage unit. That one day I will do a video on the rest of them. But for now, I'm gonna show about I'm gonna talk about and show the ones I have now. So without further ado, let's show off some of these old comic books I got. And my God, this lighting is terrible. All right, let's get on to it. Now I will do videos on like my newer collection of stuff at some point too. But you know, time. <laughs> and I kind of want to do a video on my older stuff anyway. So, let's let's do it. Alright, so we got the classic X-Men. And this is a series back in 1986. So, I have abundance of this. God, I hope this is focusing. Anyway, um, so... So I had the first issue, and the second, but basically I'm just showing off the artwork at this point because I haven't read these, and I'm assuming these are, like, I don't know if they're revamps of the classic stories or what, but it's very much like the old school X-Men. Uh, I don't know if there's like republications of the old stories or what, but let me see if I can find what I am looking for. Cause this series has some of the, oh yes, yes. Dark Phoenix is in this, is up in here. I don't think she's in this issue, well she might be. But um, yeah, this is just some old school X-Men comics. I plan on reading one day. Seriously, is this Dark Phoenix? Cause I thought Dark Phoenix was later on in the shtick of things here. Uh. Yeah, I really need to read some of these. Because so I have them just sitting here, just chilling. And I thought I'd show them off, but then one day I'm actually going to read them. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I know, I know I got the classic Dark uh, dark Phoenix storyline in here somewhere amongst this stuff. But look at this artwork though. It's just like, it's just so pretty freaking legit. Like, who are you? Tarzan? Uh, but yeah, these are just some old comics I acquired, and of course I have other ones like, uh, I have stuff from like the Fantastic Four, I have She-Hulk, Dazzler, I have, um, the Aven- uh, I think I have the Avengers somewhere. Um, I don't know actually. So basically I have issues 1 through, right now we're on 25, uh, 25, 27, 29, it's showtime, uh, 30, 31, Oh, where is Dark Phoenix coming? Ah, the Dark Phoenix saga. Uh, that starts in issue... Where are you? That starts on issue... Oh, speaking of Dark Phoenix, Dark Phoenix comes out, trailer comes out tonight, which I'm so excited for. I like the Dark Phoenix storyline. Dark Phoenix saga, issue 35. So yeah, I have the whole... I'm assuming it's the whole story of the Dark Phoenix saga. When Jean Grey kind of just loses her shit when she gets when she uh, gets the powers of the Phoenix, becomes the avatar of the Phoenix, and of course she ends up dying in the end and whatnot. And like I really want, I read parts of the story online and stuff, but I never actually had a full blown copy of it. So I actually have a copy of it, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's the whole damn thing. Like, I am, like, 90% sure it's the thing, it's the whole thing. 
So yeah, the Dark Phoenix Saga ends on 33. So 31 through 43 is Dark Phoenix. And it just keeps going. I have quite a bit, as you can plainly see. Now, there's not much talking going on in this video because it's like, I haven't read any... Ooh, Doctor Doom? He appears to the X-Men? That's new. Okay, so... Ooh. Is that Storm with the Phoenix Force? <gasps> and then we end on issue 52 with Spider-Woman and Katie Pratt. <laughs> so, that is my little collection of X-Men comics, I guess. Um... I guess we can talk about some of the other comics I got since this video ends up being a little short and not planned because it was all a whim. So, while talking to other, let's talk about some newer ones that I got. Shall we? Well, not newer, but like newer. Like within the last maybe five, three or four years. Ugh. We'll talk about these when we get out. So we got the A-Force. Now the A-Force is a comic book series that started out in Secret Wars and it's basically a part of Battle World where all these female superheroes form a group. You got She-Hulk, you got Captain Marvel, Medusa, Dazzler, yeah Dazzler, and then, oh my god what's her name? <sighs> She's from The Runaways. Oh my god, who are you? <laughs> I'm good at I'm gonna jump out my window. I don't know who that is. She's in the Runaways, and then got the new character, which I can't think of her name either. It's been a while since I read these. Uh, but it was a limited. It was a series back in like 20, 2016, obviously, and they got their own series after the events of Secret Wars ended. Because Secret Wars, A Force was part of the Secret Wars Battle World. Uh, line was it Battle World? It was one that was weird. Creepy noise at my door. Anyway. <laughs> so basically the story kind of goes on with a group of these group of female superheroes kind of just doing their thing, saving the day and shit, and then Secret Wars happens. Now Secret War not Secret Wars, um Civil War 2. Now Civil War 2 kind of puts a divide in the group because Captain Marvel and the group just divides between siding with Captain Marvel or Iron Man and it basically kind of just destroys the group with the whole issue of Captain Marvel and how she treats how she's been treating people and uh, arresting people and treating them as criminals before they even committed an act. Now Civil War 2 is despite what people say about it and I know it's a very unpopular opinion that people don't like the story, it's very basic. I enjoyed it, I rather enjoyed it. Granted, my bestie, <laughs> Captain Marvel, she went a little ape shit, just a little bit, just a little bit. But overall, I like the story. And then of course the A-Force comics, I kinda wish they continued it, but obviously they didn't, so what am I gonna do, right? Um, so yeah, thank you guys. I'm gonna end it here. For today. Next week I'm gonna to try to do a video on Spider Geddon, the edge of Spider Geddon, and then Spider Geddon issue zero. I kind of lead up to issue one that's coming out in two weeks from today. Because issue four of Edge of Spider Geddon and Spider Geddon Zero come out today. And I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna do a video on all of it from the first four issues of Edge of Spider Geddon and Spider Geddon Zero kind of lead you into Spider Geddon issue one that comes out in two weeks. So guys, I hope. There we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The lighting is a bit weird in this room. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all next time.